Hi everybody, this is Hayden from Connect TV. So thanks for tuning in, good to see you back. Um, this video is going to be a short one. Um, this is all about profiling the quality of your data in Power BI. Business intelligence um, is as much about knowing the quality of the data. Your report consumers need to understand the decisions that they're making on how accurate is the data. There's a couple of methods and techniques in, in, that we can do in Power BI. I'm going to show you a really great tip, and this is going to allow you to quickly provide uh, your report consumers an overview of the quality of the data that they're working with. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into my transform data. And this row of, of information here at the top, and it tells you how much of your information is valid, error, or empty. So let me move across to some of my date and, and numeric fields where I've deleted some data. In this here, you can see that some of the date fields, um, only 90%, 92% valid, we've got 8% there. There's also this, this information down here. It's only profiling based on the top 1,000 rows. If you select that, you hit the tick, and it will select column profiling based on the entire data set. Now, this obviously takes time if you've got thousands of rows, but, but it's very, very good to have an overview. You can see that the data quality is only down to 2% now. Also the same here, actual cost data. I've got 2% of my, uh, my values don't have data. So it's really important for the users when they're building in any time intelligence, when they're building any financial models, that, that they know what gaps we have in the data and, and that 2% of this, there might be a 2% swing in cost data. So it's really important. You can see this clearly, but there's a really, really cool tip, um, a really cool function in, in M that allows you to profile your table and push that back to the data model. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that. If you right click here and select a new blank query. Okay, so this in this bar here is table profile. Is that the table profile and in brackets enter the name of the table and hit enter maximum data the maximum data the average data and for some of your text fields this isn't going to be necessary but it, it bases it on the minimum max is based on um, alphabetical order any standard deviation in terms of from the average um, your count of rows and the number of null values in there. So this works on your, your numeric and date time field. So as you can see, we've got in the rate band 1,101 um, rows empty, um, rate charge, plan date. So it gives you a real good breakdown um, and it tells you how many unique values you've got. So let's go and apply this. So I'm just jumping back in here to change it. Obviously query one isn't very good. Okay, so I now have that. You can do this many ways. I'm just going to simply build a table and bring in my information across. So column, the key thing for me that I like to tell my users is how many are null, average, max, min, and any standard deviation. There you go. So if you have this on your front page of your Power BI report, quite simply your users can see as they log in where the potential issues might be. So when they're making assumptions, when they're providing sort of reports on analytics, they can sort of build in and factor in a, a percentage or a, uh, at least tell their management or whoever it is that there's a slight deviation. And that's it. It's a really great tip. It's a really great way of helping your consumers out. Um, and um, if you like this, please leave any comments on future videos you'd like to see and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.